Hi girls, how are you all? Um, I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Um, it feels like absolutely ages since I've seen you or been talking to you. And I suppose some of that is my fault because I'm not great on computers and internet. I have been, um, I've been stuck at home for the last, you know, the last six or seven weeks like yourself since we closed up the gym. Uh, today is the first day that I've kind of got to get back up into the gym here. It's really quiet up here without you, uh, so I'm certainly missing you a lot. Um, I've been chatting to the coaches, uh, chatting to Annie, Kiva, Neve. Annie is keeping great. She's working out in the hospital. Um, everything seems to be going really well. She's really happy. And Neve the same down in Cork. So I've been talking to the two girls and also Aoife and Kiva. Uh, Kiva has agreed to come on board. She's going to do a little bit of flexibility work with you because you know how good my bridges and splits are. So Kiva's going to do a little bit of flexibility work with you and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and drop you a video um, every two or three days um, doing a little bit of lower body core work and upper body work. Okay, so I'm sure you've been doing little bits and pieces at home but I know it's hard when you don't have instruction from your coaches and stuff like that and sometimes it's, it's nice to be doing little bits and pieces but it's also nice to be able to follow a little plan. Um, so the plan for the next couple of weeks until we can hopefully get back to a bit of normality is Stephen up in the gym here on my own. I'm going to do a couple of exercises for ye. I'll do them first. I might be getting ye to do them for longer rounds and stuff like that. So I'll just go through them just so you can watch the video, see how how they should somewhat look. And then ye, uh, outside of your schoolwork at home, maybe spend a half an hour, an hour a day, um, getting a little bit done. As I said, I'm going to go through legs today. I'll get a little core video out to you maybe tomorrow or the next day and then we'll do a little upper body um, video for you. The likes of kind of the press ups and the dips and a little bit of work for your shoulders. And then Kiva is going to pass on some flexibility work. Okay, So within a week then you should have at least four videos um, doing a little bit of strength work and a little bit of flexibility work. So hopefully that will slowly get us back to where we were. Um, it hasn't been ideal having a break and missing you because I think we were, you know, we were just about ready for some girls to get to competition and stuff like that. So it is hard to go back and kind of feel like we're starting again. But look, we're no different to all the other kids. We're no different to all the other kids in all the other gyms around the country, okay? Um, so it's lovely seeing you. I have a couple of little leg exercises wrote down here. I'm going to get through them with you. What I'll do is I'll send on a picture with what I've done within the video. And I'll send on how many reps you should be doing, or for how long you should be holding it, or for how many times around we should be doing the little program. Okay? Uh, bottle of water with me. You're going to need it. I have one of the green mats, girls. Um, they were up here. If you don't have one at home, just make sure that everything is nice and safe. Do it on a little bit of a carpet. Um, maybe find a little... I don't know, a little rug or a little mat or something that you can do it on. There's no cartwheels, there's no handstands or anything involved in this, so you're only going to need a small little space, okay? Uh, 15, 20 minutes work, no problem to eat. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little warm-up first. If you want, you can, I don't know how to upload it, put it onto a TV or you're working off your iPad. You can just copy me, I'm just going to do some sprints, star jumps, little strider strides. Um, we might do some little single leg jumps. But where we usually do it in the gym here on the lines, we're going to now do it on the spot, okay? So, we'll start. We'll do a little jogs for 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go straight into little star jumps. Seven, eight, nine. Let's go. One. We'll do 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Little striders forward the back. One, two, Three, four, five, six, go and we'll go into a little rebound after this, girls, hands at your sides. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your rebounds now side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your rebounds forward and back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. <sighs> That's enough for me to get warm, but it's probably not for ye girls, okay? So what you might want to do, you might want to do that once more again. So you do your ten seconds of jogs, 
your stars, your strides, rebounds on the spot, rebounds side to side, rebounds forward and back. Do it enough times until you're starting to feel warm, okay? Your little stretches, and I would like you to get a couple of stretches done five or six minutes before you do the little leg work, okay? I have some squats in here, I have some shoulder stand to stand, I have some lunges. So you just want to be a little bit stretched out before we start any of that work. So you could, where we usually do it on the lines, you could just do it on the spot. Just your little touches, baby little steps is all I'm taking. Okay, just try to get your hands flat on the floor. You could do that walking back the way, just make sure that your front leg stays straight. Okay, then what you can run through is just five minutes of your little stretching like you would do in here with me. Straddles, chest on floor, pikes, pike folds. When you're holding each one, just hold it for three or four seconds. So if I were you sitting at home, I'd be after doing my little warm up. Straddles, chest down, one, two, three. Back up tall, chest down, one, two, three. Back up tall, is that okay? Then you can move on to your pikes, chest on knees. Move on to your split, right leg and left leg in front. And move on to your box splits. I'm not gonna go through that too much because Coach Keeve is gonna look after all that side for you. What I'm gonna concentrate on today is just a little bit of leg work, okay? Now the first thing I'd like you to do, I'm gonna give you two minutes. I'd like you to run and maybe get a towel, like a big beach towel or a big bath towel, something that you can roll up into a ball. Is that okay? Come on, I'll give you one minute. Go get a towel. Go get a towel. Right, you back? Okay. Right, so I'm going to use the mat, whereas you'll use a towel. Okay, so the towel will go right underneath the middle of your shins. So it will make your legs bend, okay? So to start, we want quite bendy legs. We don't want them to be tight, we don't want them to be straight. Because we're gonna do a little bit of leg tension and work, okay? So for doing this, upper bodies, I'm gonna push my shoulders back. I'm nearly arching my lower back. I can turn my hands in reverse. Sit my chest up, squeezing for two, and relax. Squeezing for two, and relax. Three. Four, five, six, squeezing my toes, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten is held for ten, ready, and squeeze, ten, nine, eight, seven, shoulders back, squeeze tighter, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, okay, that's your leg tensioning work. If it's done really well, 10 pulses, 10 seconds hold, then I'd like you to do that twice more. So you'll, overall, you'll do 30 pulses and a 30 second hold broke down into three different sections. Is that okay? 10 seconds pulsing, 10 second hold, take a little break. 10 seconds pulsing, 10 seconds hold, take a little break, and the same again, 10 seconds pulsing and 10 seconds hold. All right, you can get through all of them. Then we're gonna move on to a shoulder stand to stand, okay? Now all of you ladies should have no problem doing your shoulder stands, leaving the hands above the head. What some of you might find a little bit tricky is standing up with legs nice and tight together. Some of the older girls, you might work this into a pistol squat. I'll eventually get onto that stuff. I don't have it in it today, but just this kind of class or this video is just to get us back doing a little bit of lower body work, okay? So I'm just gonna demonstrate one or two of your shoulder stands to stand, and then I'll let you take it away. I'm gonna go for five. I think you guys will have no problem getting in 12 or 15. All right, tall, hands at my ears, push my hips, hands in front, finish with my arms at my ears before I go back down. Make sure you're standing up tall, push your hips forward, and then you can go into your second one. Hands, two, Three, four, five. Right, I didn't find that too bad. So ye should find it quite easy to get 12 or 15 in there, okay? First set, 12 or 15, shoulder stands to stand, okay? Second set, I would like to see a shoulder stand 
into an immediate top jump, land, finish, then roll again. I'll give you a demo of one. Hands back up, and then I go into my second one, okay? So the first one is 12 or 15 shoulder stands to stand. The second one is what I've just done, shoulder stand to top jump. And the third one, I would like you to get a shoulder stand to a star or a straddle jump done. Okay, a lot of your girls in your competition work, you're going to have straddle jumps, or you're going to have working kind of true box splits in your star jumps. So what I'd like, I'd like you to keep working on the top jumps, um, because they will help some of the somersault work, and you have top jumps in your routines. But I'd also like you to add some straddles or star jumps, so we're keeping that strong as well, okay? Round one, shoulder stand to stand. Round two, maybe 10, shoulder stands to top jump. Round three, shoulder stand to star or shoulder stand to straddle jump. I'll give you a demonstration of a star jump because I can't straddle jump like you girls can. So, shoulder stand, in, up, land, hands, then I go into my second one, okay? So first one is leg tension, second one is shoulder stand. Third one, I just have little calf raises down, girls. These will be good work for you for when you're up on the beam. If you want to do this, maybe off the side of your stairs, I have nothing to hold me here, but you can put your hand on the baluster on the wall, and you can do them off the side of the stairs. If you don't have a little step or something like that in your house, if you're like me and you're in a little bungalow, you might be able to find something, maybe the front of the door or anything where you have a little step, okay? If not, no problem, I can do them on the floor here. Let's get our arms up and our ears just so we're in good habits and we're going for 30. So we're going one, two, three, four. Pushing really hard on top, five, six, seven, and stay up tight at my ears, eight, nine, 10. Ye ladies are going to do 30 for me, okay? So that time, toes and heels. Second time around, just drop back, let your legs go into a little V shape, hands back at your ears, push, try keep your heels together, and then for the third one, you're just going legs out, heels stay apart at the back. So 30 together, 30 with legs in kind of a straddle position, and then 30 with legs out. Okay, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, rather than doing it on two legs, you do it on one. You can tuck one in behind, and you're just pushing off a single leg. Okay, you do your right leg, do your left leg. But your challenge for week one, 30 flat, legs together, 30 with legs in straddle, and 30 with heels behind. Okay, so that will give you three, six, that will give you 90 all together. All right, squats. Okay, I'd love you to do your squats, girls, in front of a mirror. Okay, it's not really about getting your bones down as low as you can. I just like you to get a little bit of work done on the front of your legs and your butts. So in my squat, while you're doing it in front of the mirror, I'm only doing it in front of the camera here and it's a little bit tricky, but I'll kind of feel it if I'm squatting and this is happening. I don't want that to happen in my squat. What I want to imagine is when I'm squatting down, I'm keeping my knees just a little bit apart. Hands in front and my chest stays up. If I can get my bum in line with my knees, perfect. If I can get a little bit lower, even better, but I don't want to be bouncing back up. I want to be always in control, okay? So I'm just going to demonstrate five squats. You're going to have no problems going between 12 and 15 again, okay? Hands out, my chest is up. I'm trying to keep my knees out. One, keep it in control. Two, keep it in control. Three, four, and four. Right, that's just five for me. You're going to do 12 or 15 girls. At the end of your 12 or 15 squats, take a few seconds break. Do it again for round two. Take a little break. Do it again for round three. Okay, so overall, if you're doing 15, you'll be getting in 45 squats. Okay. Now this all might seem a little bit easy on their own, but when you add it into all your leg tensioning, your shoulder stand work, your raises work, then you're into your squats, the legs are going to start getting a little bit tired, okay? After your squats, you're going to work into some of your lunges, all right? 
So we usually do our lunges walking across the floor. We won't have that luxury at home, so we can do them easily on the spot. So I'm gonna pick a spot where my two feet start, hands on my hips, step my right leg out, just a little tip, and step back, okay? Just a little tip, and back. So what I'm imagining is, if I have an egg underneath my back knee, I wanna tip the egg, but I don't wanna crush it, okay? So I don't want this happening. Okay, and start hurting your knees. So nice and slow and controlled. Right leg first, just a little tip, push back, left leg, tip, and push back. Okay, now in the gym here, you're going over the mat, and you're coming back. So these are about 12 meters long. So you're doing nearly 24, 25 meters of walking lunges. So at home, if we're stepping out maybe a meter, or a half a meter in our little step, Let's try and get in maybe 15 or 20 on each leg, okay? So on each leg, I'll be going one, one, two, two. Does that make sense? So 20 on right, 20 on left. See if you can get it done three times, okay? That won't be easy. That will be quite tricky. That will be tough. Might be sweating a little bit, legs might be a little bit sore, okay? Um, so you'll start with your legs, leg tensioning, shoulders, raises, squats, then you're into your single leg lunges. Then we're gonna do a little bit of work on hip flexors, okay? We'll do some of the lower back stuff with our core work, so I'll add that in with the stomach work. So your last one really, before we have a little blowout at the end, is you're gonna do some little leg raises. I've got a blue cone, okay? Uh, what could you use at home? Water bottle, something like a water bottle, anything that's roughly about a foot high, okay? It's about the height of my foot. Anything that's roughly about a foot high. I'm going to do this side on so you can see me, okay? We've all done this before. I'm going to start the cone outside of my heel, okay? Both legs are together. Whereas the last exercise I was sitting when I was in this position for leg, uh, leg tensioning, I was sitting my shoulders back. This time I would like you to put your hands just in front of your knees to encourage your shoulders to come a little bit further forward. Now your left leg that's doing the work this time, my left hand will just have to come out a little bit to the side to make room. Squeezing like I was in my leg tension and I'm just going tip, tip, tip. Okay, now I'm actually finding that hard after three. And here's what I was wanting to do when I was finding it hard, watch. Okay, so it's really important that you're really strict on yourself. Make sure that you're keeping your shoulders forward, make sure that you're squeezing your legs tight, and make sure that you're always in control, just tipping the floor, tipping the floor. That's gonna to be tough, girls. It's tough of one foot high. I'd like you to be getting between 10 and 12 of those. If you're finding it hard to get 10 or 12, I would have found it really hard to get to 10 yet. So what I do is, I would just take a lower object, so something that's not as high to make sure that I can get to 12. Because on this one, you're gonna have 12 on your left leg, but then you're gonna have to move your cone across and get 12 done on your right leg, and you're gonna have to get it done three times, okay? So if we need to lower the height of the cone or the object that we're trying to get over and back over, that's no problem at all. I would prefer you to get in 10 or 12 and get them done well, rather than getting in two or three is all, or rather than getting in 10 or 12 really sloppy, all right? So make sure that you can do it, that you can do it well, but at the end of the 10 or 12 reps, it's starting to burn a little bit right inside here, all right? So then, at the end of it then, we're just gonna do a little bit of sprinting. No harm to continue a little bit. I know you probably can't get out as much as you'd like, so, you know, we're kind of, if you're confined to home, it's hard to, the best way to practice running or the best way to practice sprinting is by just doing it sometimes, you know? Um, but when, I know we're all caught at home and stuff, so you're probably not sprinting from the sitting room to the kitchen as much as you like. Uh, so we can, we'll do a little bit on the spot, okay? Now, most common thing that we'll do on the spot, I'll go, everybody ready to go, let's sprint, let's go! Okay? All the kids that we come in here and we say, right, everyone ready to sprint, that's exactly what it looks like. Now you could imagine any of the girls or any of you girls trying to run to a handspring vault over 10 meters and trying to create powerful running like that. 
So rather than sprinting this way, same again, you still have your mirror, okay? You could have your mirror for whatever you're working in your squats. I was asking you just to look at maybe a little mirror. The same for your sprints, okay? When I'm sprinting, I want my knees high and I want my hands moving as well. So we're not gonna feel like we're hitting the floor as many times as I was just doing there, but our technique should be a little bit better, okay? So we're gonna sprint for 10, break for 10, Sprint for 10, break for 10, sprint for 10, and break for 10, okay? So it's gonna be 10 seconds hard work, 10 seconds break. 10 seconds hard work, 10 seconds break. Brother or sister at home, mum or dads, just get them to time you for this one. All the rest you can probably do yourself, but you'll be probably working so hard, you'll find it hard to be looking at a clock and going, just get someone to time you for this 30 seconds or one minute. Is that okay? So for your sprints, start together, Try to visualize or imagine the vault or that springboard that you're running towards, and I want you getting there as fast as you can, but obviously you're staying on the spot. So if I was sprinting, I want my knees up and hands moving. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if I'm breaking for ten, I'm ready to go again for another ten. Is that okay, girls? So here's what we have leg tensioning. Shoulder stand to stand, calf raises, squats, single leg lunges, hip work or raises over my cone or my water bottle, okay, and then sprints to finish. I would like you to try get that done in two rounds without stopping, okay? Break in between each one for maybe 10 seconds. Try and work most exercises between maybe 10 or 12 reps. So after 12, it's starting to get sore, okay? The girls on the shoulder stand to stand, if you need to make that a little bit harder, maybe go to some uh, shoulder stand to single leg stand. But for now, there should be loads in shoulder stand to stand, shoulder stand to tuck jump, shoulder stand to straddle. Okay? Um, I'll leave it at that for now. That's some good work to get on. In the next day, I'm gonna pop up and I'm gonna uh, send you on a little maybe core video that will be back, lower back and your stomachs, okay, bellies. So we'll do a little bit of work on that. I'll get that video onto you as soon as I can. I've got to see what's the best way. I don't know, do I have to go through YouTube or can I send it on an email to try and catch up with Tony now and see what way I can pass this video on to you guys. All right, um, even though I can't see, it is nice to see. I hope you're all keeping really safe and well. Uh, hopefully we'll get back in here um, sooner rather than later, girls. I don't know, you know, hopefully, hopefully all this will pass. We'll, we'll, we'll someday forget it ever happened and we'll be all back in here in, on a Sunday morning or Tuesday or Thursday evening and um, we'll be all back together again, which will be really nice, okay? Um, I'll get Annie and Kiva. I'll get Kiva to get onto the flexibility so she can send that on to you. I'm sure you're doing a hope you're doing a little bit at home and the rest of the stuff we will get onto you within the coming week, okay? So upper body and a little bit of, um, a little bit of core work, okay? Lovely seeing you girls. I hope you're all keeping really safe and well, and I will see you all again soon.